Hello people, autumn is now here, it's cold in my studio, but underneath my coat there's something that you should see. Because recently I bought the domain physicsonline.com, cost me a lot more money than I thought it would, but it's really good because it means in the future I won't just be doing GCSE and A-level, I'll be doing more videos for maybe Key Stage 3 and also for teachers, but you know, that's to come in the future. But I just want to show you a couple of things. Now, when you actually go to physicsonline.com, at the moment it's just a holding page that either sends you to the GCSE website with everything in black or the A-level website in white. And if you go to the A-level website, what you'll find is that I've got this 100-day challenge. Now, this is ideal for students in year 13 to make sure that you revise everything that you covered last year. My plan is that you do one question a day for 100 days, and basically, because you're probably gonna be doing three subjects by the time you get to year 13, every third day you'll be doing a physics question. And if you go on the website, you click on a 100-day challenge, what you'll find then is, um, not only uh, you can download the PDF, and this shows you kind of like an ideal plan, and there's space in here where you can actually uh, add in your other subjects and you know choose some papers from some AS papers, so that's kind of what I've set out for 100 days. But also, um, I've got these videos where I actually work through the answers. Now, there's one of these on YouTube at the moment, and on the website, I've got them all for the whole of the challenge. Now, this is only for physics. I don't have past paper solutions for biology, chemistry, maths, or your other subjects but I've done it for the physics side of thing. And something which is really nice on here is that I've actually added chapters. So you can just click to the day that you might wanna be. So uh, day 73, day uh, whatever it might be, you can find just the question that you need for that day. And then I go through and approach to that answer if the mark scheme when you're working your own, when you're marking your own work doesn't make sense. So there's loads of good stuff on there. Um, the other thing on the website you'll see at the bottom, there's a couple of links. One of them is for 10% of Primrose Kitten's courses. She's got courses in biology, chemistry, maths, and psychology. So if you put in physics online, when you check out for her course, you get a 10% discount. And the other thing is Uplearn. Now again, this is not my company, but Uplearn are using some of my videos for their OCR Specification A course. Now it is expensive, um, but they do offer it for free if you're on free school meals. So they do have some uh, some kind of space there for, to, I guess, give away a free course if you really, really need it. But it's worth having a look, so there's some stuff from Upland. Now the other thing on my website is if you go to full video index, you'll see a lot of the videos that I've made for A-level. Now, a lot of these are completely free on YouTube, but there's also ones which are behind the paywall part of my website. Now. To do the 100 day challenge, well, you know, you can do it anyway for free because it's up to you to kind of set your own challenge. If you want to do the one that I've set, um, you do need to be a premium member on the website or your school has to have a subscription because this is ultimately how I earn money to keep coming in to make more videos for you guys and there's so much coming over the next year. You know that. If you look on YouTube, you can see how much I've done over the last year and there's a lot more to come. So. Um, not only do you get access to that 100 day challenge, you get access to all of these videos um, for the kind of stuff that you're covering in year 13. So there's loads and loads of stuff out there, stuff that will really help you with your physics. Um, a couple of questions that people asked, am I going to be doing the same thing for GCSE? Not at this time, uh, but what I will do is when we know the exam dates for the 2021 exams, I might do maybe a 100 day countdown where I do 100 days with an exam question each day um, for GCSE and A-level. And this is really looking more at the year 13 content. So, you know, the stuff you've been learning this year, I might do a 100 day countdown to your exams. That's one thing that people are maybe interested in. Um, why do you have to pay for it? Well, you don't. I mean, you can do your own 100 day challenge, but what you get is when you sign up to my website is you get all of these work solutions laid out day by day, and hopefully that will allow you to keep doing this challenge. Some of you might not have started yet. It's kind of day two at the moment. It's the 24th of September when I'm filming this, or it might be day three or four or five when you're watching this video. That doesn't matter. Just start today and maybe start on that day, and when you get to maybe day 100, then you might have a couple more days to do that you can maybe go back to do the questions at the start. The other thing that a few people emailed me about was why that first question was quite difficult. The first question um, from the 23rd was just about density. You know, density is mass divided by volume, 
a simple equation, but at A level, you're not just going to get simple questions where you just plug the numbers in to work out densities. And therefore, it was a little bit more involved and hopefully helped kind of develop your mathematical ability. The questions later this week um, are more about the kind of practical skills that are going to be relevant to anyone. Because even if you're not doing practical work in school at the moment, you still need to know about the scientific method and actually looking at a question, thinking how could that equipment be used and then kind of doing some data analysis. So it's completely up to you if you want to do the challenge or not. I've got my own 100 day challenge that I'm doing personally for myself. Um, but yeah, any questions, put them beneath the video and I'll do my best to reply to them either in the comments here or maybe make another video where I answer these questions in the future. Until then, hopefully all of you are safe. Don't worry about the lockdown. Most of you aren't in pubs after 10 o'clock at night anyway in the UK. So yeah, just concentrate on getting back to school, getting back to normality and having a go if you want to at this 100 day challenge. Thank you.